Hello, I'm Chris Fenton with the Fenton team of Royal LePage, and I'm coming to you today from my virtual office to give you a real estate market update for the Alberni Valley for June 2020. And what do I say about the last 30 days? Well, the last 30 days in real estate have been um, very busy, certainly very busy compared to what we saw in the months prior to this. Um, we're still selling homes virtually. We're still um, doing what we can to make sure that uh, we show everything virtually before uh, people come and see a home in, in person and we're taking the necessary precautions to make sure these viewings can be done safely. But for the most part, real estate is happening again. Um, I would say the last, at least the last five listings I've taken now all have um, accepted offers or are now sold. And we're doing, we're, uh, many of them are having backup offers and we're negotiating multiple offers in, in some cases. So it has been very, very busy, which has been great. Um, I don't know what the future is hold. I think if 2020 has taught us anything, it's that we're not gonna predict the future anymore. Anything can happen in this world. Um, but right now it's busy. So if you're thinking about selling or you're thinking about buying, I would, I would implore you to get into the market now um, and take a look at what's, what's going on out there. So let's, with that all said, let's take a look at the stats. So these stats, I'm gonna share my screen with you. Now these stats are for the um, Greater Alberta Valley. So that's Beaver Creek, Cherry Creek, Sprout Lake, and of course the city of Port Alberta. And there for the month of May, uh, and we're going to compare May of this year, 2020, to the May of last year. These are for single-family homes, non-waterfront homes, and they are uh, so those data is supplied by the Vancouver Island Real Estate Board. So what do we have? Well, in this past month, we had 26 new properties get listed on the market and 18 sales. Now that is down considerably from what we had last year, which was 65 listings and 38 sales. What's interesting is that the, the amount that each of those categories down is fairly similar, meaning the market is still very, very balanced. Um, it's just that there's a, a smaller amount going on right now. The average listing price in this last month was $439,183, and the average sale price was $424,288. Now that's a sale price to list price ratio of 96.6%, which is down slightly from last um, May, but basically right on track with the 97% of last year. The average days on the market this May was 51 days for those homes that sold in May it was 51 days um, compared to 28 last year. And that's not really surprising, is it? Because for most of March and most of April, there was very little to no real estate activity going on. So we're going to see those longer statistical days on the market. Um, and, and that's sort of where things are right now. Again, it's it's we've taken what would normally be a, a very, very busy month in, in real estate and it's and it's just less listings but also less sales and it surprises me a little bit that there are so few listings coming on the market i expect that um as the province continues to open up and as uh, by my understanding it's been over three weeks since we've had a community case of transmission case of covid19 on the island so we're starting to feel um as long as we're safe and we do social distancing that the back around is a fairly safe place to do real estate transactions i expect we'll start seeing more listings coming on the market here in June, but it'll be interesting to see at the end of June what that looks like. If you have any real estate statistic questions, any market questions, or any questions of whatsoever, I'd love to hear from you. You can leave your comment, leave them in the comments, but also you can give me a call. My number is 250-723-8786. And again, I'm Chris with the Fenton team of Royal LePage. Have a great day. Bye for now.